Hello Capricorn, it's Meredith. I'm here with your uh, monthly message for December 2018. We are using three different decks this month. The first up top here is the Celestial Origin Healing Runes. Beautiful deck. There's a rune on each card and each one is meant to be a healing symbol for you if you if you'd like, you can just stare at it and absorb its goodness. Um, then we have Modern Spellcasters Tarot and Doreen Virtues Romance Angel Oracle Cards for a love message. Uh, the Celestial Origin Healing Runes are intended to be a soul energy message. Um, what else do I want to tell you, Capricorn? Oh, watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos so you get a, a full picture of the energy atmosphere for the month. And let's get started. Your first card. Excited Anticipation. This is one of my favorite cards in this, this deck. I just get giddy <laughs> over this card. I get happy about it. Um, this is the energy in which we co-create with the universe. Um, this is the frequency that really rocks out the co-creation. <laughs> This also is telling me that Capricorn, you're trying to make a change with something, and um, that change feels really positive, very high vibe, high frequency for you. This also means that there's something you're going to have to let go of. <laughs> so we'll see what the other cards have to say, but excited anticipation, that's your gravy. You want to get it done? You put that on top of everything. <laughs> Next card, personal power, lovely card. There may be something that you're letting go of where you were out of your personal power you are coming into or being more grounded with your personal power. This card often reminds me that sometimes no is a good answer. Um, and saying no can mean saying yes to yourself. So saying no to something or someone um, is being mindful of the energy you have to spend in certain arenas, circumstances. So maintain your personal power. And if you're needing this healing rune, just take a moment. Soak that in. Okay. Next one. Hmm. Balance. Yes. Um yeah, something in the give and take in your in your world, Capricorn, has been a little bit out of balance, but it's coming into balance, and that was a choice that you were making. I'll leave that there so you can stare at it for a moment. Um, you want harmony. My feeling is that through November, there was a sense that you were perhaps draining yourself by saying yes to too many things. Too much on the schedule. Time to chill out. Um, Recenter your energy. Perfect. And be excited <laughs> and happy about the positive changes that you're making. So let's see your first card. Well, there it is. The devil. <laughs> this is a Capricorn card. There is something about a habit or the temptation to respond in a habitual way. I feel that there are mm, certain individuals in your world, Capricorn, who excitedly anticipate you showing up in a certain way all the time and that that benefits them greatly. This is not a negative thing, however. It can have an impact on you and your personal power energy, your sense of harmony and balance if you are in people-pleasing mode. So there's something shifting there. Wheel of Fortune, yes. Cycle of Completion, something on the karmic wheel of life for you. This is a life lesson that is unfolding in December. Also, I feel, Capricorn, that there are some... There are some beliefs at work in your personal power that are not serving you any longer. They've run their course. They've had their time on the wheel. And I sense that you recognize this and you do know that something's got to give, something's got to change. So whatever it is that you are attempting to no longer do habitually or not repeat, 
as that eases out of your life, be certain that you are replacing the space that it leaves with pure, raw, excited anticipation, love energy. <laughs> fill it, Whatever's got to go, fill it in with love. You know, if you're pulling something up by its roots and it leaves a void there within you, fill that void in with love. Um, I do feel, Capricorn, you are trying to break a habit of some sort. And my guides are telling me... Um, Hmm. You've given too much in one space and not enough in another space. And not enough meaning not enough for you. You have a desire to give more to something else in your life experience. But you've been giving um, your precious energy in another aspect of your life. Could be your work. could be that you're navigating a difficult relationship and it has mm, required a lot of your attention and you reached a point where your personal power came into question and when others have an expectation of you being a certain way there's there's a tiny tug on us when we feel that so we feel mm, I don't want to say obligated Sometimes there's this natural inclination to give the very thing that someone else is anticipating from you, whether or not that's good for you in the moment. My feeling is, Capricorn, you're recognizing where you do this, and it's subtle. It's very subtle. But you're, you're beginning to set a new boundary for yourself. Like, I am available here. And when I am available here, that's wonderful. And then when I <laughs> when I leave that space, I am available to this, this thing that I'm excited about. You want to bring energy to this other aspect of your life. It's requiring your energy. Also, I feel, this is very detailed. It might be specific just to a few of you. If this is about a difficult relationship, you uh, perhaps decided quite firmly long ago, <laughs> sometime this year or before this year, that that difficult relationship um, required you to act or behave in a certain way. But that was your choice to limit the amount of what you deem to be chaos coming from that relationship and so you engaged there at the chaos point and you've been hyper aware of the chaos and taking steps taking measures to avoid it if possible rather than actually facing it head on looking it in the eye and saying okay I've had enough of this let me get grounded into my personal power then I will flow with grace and ease through this relationship the thing that um, Mm, by by attempting to avoid the conflict, by being a people pleaser or placating these other people or this one individual, it has, um, hmm. my guides are saying, deprived you of the energy you wish to invest in other relationships. So there are other people in your world that harmonize to your frequency, your vibe, and you really enjoy them. You look forward to spending time with them in excited anticipation. You come away feeling fully um, hmm, inhabiting your personal power. Things feel harmonized. Things feel balanced. And then there's this old habitual familiarity with dealing with the difficult people or the challenging situations and you end up back there so the majority of your energy has been going here to keep some sort of balanced status quo for you in a desire to avoid conflict so that habit has has undermined you and recognizing that you have to get um into your personal power, stay there and express yourself from that space so that you can enjoy more of these other relationships, these other people that are in harmony with your frequency. So for some reason, there's been like a, a tug of war for you in, in this way. Um, I also feel the devil card is um, bringing the message that freedom from that scenario was felt impossible to you. 
for a long time. And maybe it still does a little bit, but you're you're setting yourself free from it. And that's the thing with the devil card. Usually the people on this card, while they may be shackled, they either hold the key in their hand or the the shackle is loose. They could easily pull their hand from it or or um or the key is within easy reach. So liberation is in your own hands. This is a life lesson. This is something you've probably repeated more than once in this lifetime, and you might be looking at it going, ugh, not this again. Uh, <laughs> so you did what you could to avoid conflict for a while, <laughs> or the chaos, and now you can't do that anymore. So say yes to you, say no to certain things, understand that saying no is saying yes in another way. And what you're saying yes to is the relationships you wish to be enjoying and somehow this mm, situation over here has cast a shadow on the other relationships the ones that are of the frequency of the vibration that you desire to celebrate and enjoy but there's been this um almost like you've withheld yourself from it because it feels so good but then you go back over here and this doesn't feel so good and then you you get into sort of a, a yearning energy for this other set of circumstances. It's time to shift that balance and set yourself free from the devil card. Get in harmony with the healing that is here for you right now so that you can put an end to that, that situation, that scenario. That could be taking place in a family relationship, a friend relationship, a former lover relationship. Some of you are dealing with an X over here on this devil card, and that relationship has cast a shadow, so to speak, on other relationships. And some of you Capricorns have decided to withdraw rather than engage, but there's a desire to engage in excited anticipation, in harmony and balance, in your personal power. So this is, this is the change that's on the wheel, and my feeling is that you're going for it. Yeah, magician, because you desire to create an entirely new experience, and the magician is all about creation. I find it interesting that the magician and the devil are here together in this reading, because sometimes the magician is considered a trickster or a joker of some sort, and can reveal the lies we tell ourselves, the justifications that we give to the situation and my feeling is that the wheel of fortune you have three major arcana cards here in your general message so this is a big deal for you and I f my feeling is that the familiarity of the devil card has been with you too long you're very much uncomfortable with it you have some enlightenment here from the magician as well and you're ready to make a change and move on you have been somewhat surprised, I feel, by how easily you've gotten dragged into the devil situation and how many times you have felt shackled. And so much so that these new relationships at some point, these new friendships, these new connections felt suspicious to you like, oh, this is going to go the way of my other relationships. You're breaking that chain right now. Um, so there is a sense of freedom. There is a sense of liberation, harmony, balance, personal power, all of it, and excitement. And my feeling is the Wheel of Fortune is saying, take the leap. Do the dive into the energy that you have been desiring to spend time with. And the more you do that, the more you will see the contrast in the other scenario and then recognize um, where exactly you withdrew or became suspicious of other relationships. It will become obvious to you. Um, my feeling too is work with your guides and angels on this. Uh, in your heart of hearts, you know what you want, you know what you desire, you you really do recognize it when you look at it. Um, it's just that this old habitual energy has, um, hmm, it's been quite a marinade of energetic soup, shall we say. You were marinating in this energy and you took on a lot of that energy and now you're purging that energy because all of this feels so much better and it's more in harmony with your heart frequency.
I hope I have gotten that across as passionately as I am feeling it. If I'm going to speak bluntly, you're like at a point of ridiculousness with certain people in your life and looking at it saying, I can hardly believe how much energy I gave to this situation and how much energy I deprived myself of on the flip side of that coin. And there's a point where Capricorn, you may have been upset with yourself over it, maybe even spoke negatively to yourself about it. And now you're moving into personal power, you're getting recentered, regrounded, and knowing that these beautiful relationships that have stepped into your lives are here because you attracted them, you prayed for them, you manifested them. And so in these doubtful, suspicious moments with the devil card, there may have even been a sense of, I don't deserve this. And the wheel is turning that around for you and reminding you that you called this into being. Both sides of it. However, you're recognizing that this side doesn't serve uh, the frequency in which you wish to live your life from. So you're making adjustments. So keep the inner dialogue really positive. Next card. Wow, another major arcana judgment. <laughs> you're reevaluating, which is perfect, and you're doing a fabulous job with it. And the wheel is turning in your favor here. The Judgment card is a Resurrection card. So some of this is you reclaiming your own personal power, getting back in heart alignment, heart frequency, heart happiness with it, because you lingered a little too long over here and you felt drained from it. So you are resurrecting your own frequency. You are mm, re-inspired, reinvigorated, revitalized. That's the feeling. And whenever we pull the Judgment card... We need to pull two other cards because we want to know um, what you are being called to. Because typically we see this card with, I think it's the Angel Gabriel blowing his trumpet. And then people are rising up out of their graves. <laughs> so we want to know what they're rising up out of. Okay, and you get, or what you're being called to, sorry. High Priestess, yes, listen to your inner wisdom, inner voice. The Devil card suggests that you were listening to your inner voice, but you allowed um, certain people, circumstances, and scenarios to talk you out of it. And you cannot in good conscience do that any longer. You were sacrificing your happiness to keep a larger group of people happy. <laughs> That never works. <laughs> it always backfires in some way. And I know I'm using never and always, but look at, just, just do a little review. <laughs> Check the hindsight, you'll see. And you know this already, Capricorn. You're mysterious people. You think deeply about things. Um, and you, you do know this to be true. And you do know that it is um, hiding out in your personality. So you do have to work on it. We've all got our thing to work on. This might be yours for this month. <laughs> anyway, you're, um, you're being called to your inner oracle and allowing that to be your guide. You have a deep sense of knowing, Capricorn. And not only do you have a deep sense of knowing, but you are confident with it. It's one of the things I love so much about Capricorn people. They are confident individuals. Once they make a decision, they go. Uh, but they're also um, very compassionate people. And their compassion will sometimes undermine them in the sense that they give too much to a certain situation. And then every other situation pays the price for it. So this is the life lesson. This is the balance. This is the harmony you're trying to strike right now. Okay. The next card on judgment, clarifying judgment, is the tomb you are being called out of. So you're being called to your higher self-awareness, your inner oracle, and you're being called to strike harmony and balance with that so that one arena in your life doesn't get too much of you and the other gets too little. All right, so what you are being called out of. Here it is. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Swords. 
you know, someone said to me recently, they reminded me of this, um, I'm not sure what to call it right now. <laughs> I've gone blank. But it was a question of which wolf do you want to feed? You know, uh, so here we have the Nine of Swords and we have a wolf. Now, do you want to feed the light or do you want to feed the dark, basically, is what it comes down to. And this is the the inner agony of making the decision. Because we feel as though if we stop giving somewhere, this will create more chaos and conflict for us. At the same time, there's more chaos and conflict in the area where we wish to harmonize and really live from because we're not able to inhabit that energy the way that we want to. And so here's the inner, inner struggle. So Nine of Swords, this is you Capricorn staying awake at night thinking about these things. You know what you want. You know what you desire. The cards are saying you can have it. Go create it. You're so good at that. And close the door on this other BS. It's, it's not serving you. It's it's complex, of course, but the simple is where you find the profound, and the simple is in the joy, the love, the peace, the happiness. There's no yearning there. There's no longing there. So, make peace. Make peace, Capricorn. Okay, let's go to your love cards. <laughs> Forgiving and learning. Perfect. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is exactly what we're talking about. This is exactly the work you're doing. You're going for more love, not less. Over here is less. <laughs> okay, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That means there's very little action for you to take over here. It's more um, about a decision made within your personal power that restores the balance that you seek and I'm reminded <laughs> making a mountain out of a molehill it is possible at some point Capricorn you talked yourself into an impossible situation and you felt that this was too big for you to handle process or change but the wheel of fortune says differently now so does the judgment card you're handling it and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yes. This is a reminder that going through this process was very important for you and everyone involved. This is um, it's a pivotal month for you because you're making decisions about the now, the present, and how you wish to experience the potential oncoming. And you're done with this over here. But before you were done in a way that you're like, that's it, no more, no more relationships, I don't want these entanglements, I don't want this BS anymore, so whew, across the board, no relationships, I'll be friends, I'll do my job, I'll be in, I'll take care of these projects, I'll participate, I'll go on adventures, but no more intimate entanglements, but that doesn't settle right in your heart space, because these previous intimate entanglements created chaos, they fell apart, you're re-examining, you're healing, you've been healing, and now you realize you want to create something like this that's worth waiting for. So there's a control issue there as well, hence the devil card. So by deciding that, well, I won't give of myself in this way, it doesn't sit right in your heart space because it feels as though you're trying to control a current that you are meant to be in flow with. Okay. That's your reading for December, Capricorn. Please leave some comments about it. We're going to do one last card, though, before we go. It's from the Soul Lessons and Soul Purpose Oracle cards. Loving this deck. What does Capricorn most need to know for December? <laughs> I barely got to shuffle. Refine your attention. Yes. What do you want to give attention to? My feeling is it's over here. You want to give attention to this. Let me see if there's another card for you. Yeah, here it is. Live life to the fullest. This was draining you in some way. These old relationships that have cast a shadow on your new relationships have drained you in some way, which is why you didn't even want to give as much to the new relationships, even though your heart's been telling you differently. Um, so, refine your attention. 
and live life to the fullest. Embrace these experiences. Embrace these people. And, you know, compassionately embrace these people with a limit. <laughs> Some of you who are dealing with an ex, you can't not deal with the ex because you have children together. And so it's about how you show up in that situation and knowing that you that you don't have to please everybody. So just consider that. Okay, Capricorn, that's it for now. Uh, watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos as well. They are up on the channel, linked in a playlist here for you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out here on YouTube. I deeply appreciate it. And check out the daily messages. There's a new one every day. Bye for now, Capricorn. Peace.